Guru Nation, how's it going? Welcome back. Here's another weekly. This was supposed to be done on Friday, but Friday just got carried away from me. So every Friday I go through the job postings, but why not do it on a Monday? Why why not? It doesn't matter. We'll have more jobs posted up this week anyway. So for those that don't know, on latinosinclinicalresearch.com, You just click on networking, job postings, and then if you're an employer, you submit your request here, your job posting. I will post it. Eventually, someone else will do this full-time. Thankfully, right now it's me. So let's go through it. We left off the previous week here. So let's start with contract clinical research associate opportunity. Client prefers candidates to be located in California or Colorado, but not required. So let's see. Here's the contact. Everybody email Eric. And by the way, if you're an employer, this is free to post here. We don't charge you anything, right? We're thinking about playing with a sponsored posting, something similar where you get more prominence for the sponsors. But for right now, it's free for everybody. Um, Okay. Contract clinical research associate opportunity. Prefers California or Colorado, but not required. Medical device experience is a plus, okay? If you don't know what this ISO 14155 is, you should Google it, Um, or it's probably not the job for you. (laughs) Uh, This experience is a plus. So actually, I take that back. It's not experience necessary. So it might still be for you. I would Google this. In this case, what I would do is I would Google this because even I don't have this. Right, I would look at what this is. Look, you can get training, clinical investigation of med- medical devices. So you, you can, I bet you can even find a training. Let's find this. You can find a training somewhere, 199 bucks, but there's always free stuff. Our course is set up, especially for professionals in the, okay, here's one for 179 bucks. Let's look for free. I don't know. GCP, this is how I found GCP free. Join this course and start learning. Let's see how much this costs. 35 minutes. That's 99 bucks. 35 minute course, intermediate. Okay, so 99 bucks. Okay, you can have a certification on hand when applying for this position. I mean, 99 bucks is that's not even my website. I wish it was. Right. This is what you do with these jobs. When you, when it says something like that, you don't know what it is. Google it and look for trainings. Okay. Position summary. Participates in clinical research programs by assisting with implementing study protocols. Uh, okay. And conducting site qualification through closeout visits. So you're basically a CRA. I mean, this is what CRA, contract CRA position, site management for five sites. Provide management by assisting coordinators, investigators, uh, field staff, CRO, travel to site. So you're monitoring. Co-monitor until ready to monitor solo. Bachelor's degree in health profession, life science, and our engineering field. Two to five years of experience in clinical affairs in medical device, biotech, or farm industry. Demonstrated strong writing skills, domestic travel is required. It's going to be closer to 75%, guys, let me tell you. Maybe even closer to 90 from what I know. So that's that's one job. Let's go to the next one. Senior Director R&D Quality Assurance, again from Eric. Uh, responsible six-month contract, near full-time, potentially renewable, Responsible for managing R&D quality assurance activities, including all R&D related audits and associated quality systems process with GCP, GLP, GVP, quality management system. So you are doing quality assurance. Okay, Audit activities include aspects of planning, execution, reporting, and procedural documentation associated, associated with internal and external audits. So Chris and I actually do audits, and we've done this. Um, This is a full-time position, though. Well, almost full-time. Six-month contract, near full-time. So you're going to be working for a sponsor. Support for regulatory inspections included, but not limited to FDA, EMA, other regulatory bodies. 
will act as a representative to the clinical ops team uh, experience directly with GCP and post-marketing. So this is a position that is definitely not for beginners. All right. This is somebody who has experience in auditing and quality assurance. Next one, clinical research coordinator, Broom Oncology, Johnson City, New York. The research coordinator is responsible for everything. Um, requirements and this is for oncology and by the way community oncologists are becoming rare wednesday for those of you following my yuma clinical trials journey wednesday jaime Fayez, my nurse practitioner and i are meeting with um are meeting with uh, an oncologist in yuma to see if we can do studies so the research coordinator is responsible for everything here's what's required a bs in life sciences or related research field um, graduate of an RN program from an accredited school. So they want nursing. They want RN, RNs for this. CRA, CRC certification preferred, ACRP or SOCRA, um, or I don't know, CRA, CRC Academy also. Um, BLS preferred or obtained after employment, advanced cardiovascular life support, ACLS preferred. So they want two years clinical research experience with understanding and leveraging set standard clinical practices from consent. So it's a coordinator for our busy oncology center. Here's, here's one with Eli Lilly. We got multiple openings. So let's go through some of these multiple openings. We've got something that doesn't exist. Okay. So it's no longer open. We've got something else that doesn't exist. We've got global business operations budget consultant. So this is a budget consultant, provide expertise related to budget process and identify strategic levers to obtain cost savings, design, execute a lead and be a resource for others on local regulations, good clinical practice, develop strong collaboration with asset team, Let's see what some of the requirements are. Bachelor's degree and five years of experience in clinical research. At least three years of clinical trial budgets experience, highly desired experience in coaching and mentoring others. So if you worked at a site, again, this is why it's good to be a generalist and work at a site. If you worked at a site and you were a generalist and you were lucky enough for the site to let you do budgets, I know some coordinators do budgets. This would be a great career for you. Okay, let's see what else. Hopefully, they're still around, the jobs. Okay, this one doesn't exist. Eli Lilly's jobs come and go fast. Here's one doesn't exist. Maybe that's the same one I clicked. Here's one doesn't exist. So from that one, we only had one. Here's more Eli Lilly positions in the U.S. Let's see if some of these exist. Okay, clinical research scientist, immunology. So medical affairs scientists. So let's look at the, let's look at just some of the responsibilities. Understand and anticipate scientific info, needs of all local, regional customers, actively address customer, payer, patient, and healthcare providers, support business to business and business to government activities as a medical expert. All right, this looks like for pharmacists, doctors. Uh, let's see, minimum qualifications. An advanced health medical scientific, for example, in pharmacology, physiology, microbiology, or related graduate degrees, such as doctor of veterinary medicine. All you vets out there that want to get into research, look at this, okay? PharmD, PhD, MSN with advanced clinical specialty, clinical nurse specialist, nurse practitioner, nurse practitioner, and one of the following, three to five years of clinical experience or three to five years of pharmaceutical experience. Uh, or, or here we go. I love the, or have a BS or master's degree in health, medical, scientific related field. All right. That's me so far. And seven to 10 years of pharmaceutical experiences that is directly related to at least one of the following clinical trial experience in areas relevant to drug discovery. Um, if experience in either is either in two and or three of the following must be provided supporting evidence 
clear evidence and documentation of candidates' direct role and contribution to medical content. This should, okay, so that takes me, uh, actually, I've helped create protocols. This should include evidence of candidate as medical content owner, oversight of content development, creator, creation, reviewer, and approver, medical content equal medical, scientific, or clinical information. So this is like, look, guys, you got to be generalist when it comes to this. You could even qualify for this role, even if you just worked at a site and have a bachelor's of science with enough experience. Uh, so, OK, that's enough with that one. Let's go to some of this medical science liaison. These are in between the sales. The These are usually pharmacists who work between the sales and the R&D. And I bet you they're going to say. Advanced degree, see pharmacist, usually pharmacist. What did I tell you guys? All right, let's look some more. Eli Lilly's killing it with these jobs. Medical science liaison, again, for GI. Uh, medical science liaison for oncology. A lot of opportunities for pharmacists. Here's one, medical science liaison oncology in the Pacific Northwest. Now we've got Las Vegas CRC, no info, just email this person if you are interested in being a coordinator in Las Vegas. And that's it. I think that's it for this week. So again, latinosclinicalresearch.com, click networking, click job postings. If you're an employer, it's absolutely free. Post your message here, click send. If you're a job seeker, come here regularly and often. Right, you will be rewarded. Good luck out there. Glad to see you guys are getting jobs. It's a busy industry right now. Take care.